problem with water is that we have to pay for it when it should be free. Let's start from the basics. Water is in the ocean, but it's also very salty. Now, nature's way of getting us clean water involves this. The water in the ocean evaporates, thus leaving the salt in the ocean and the water now turning into clouds. Precipitation involves the release of said water in form of rain. For all intents and purposes, pure, clean, and drinkable. Now, groundwater flow takes the water back to the ocean, and the cycle continues. But I think the heart of the world's water crisis, complaining, if you will, about the lack of fresh drinking water, can be solved through the very natural methods we get it in the first place. Now the Earth has a lot of oceans. The Pacific Ocean is home to 669 million kilometers cubed. That's from 50% of the Earth's oceans. The Atlantic with 310, the Indian with 264, the Southern with 71, and the Arctic with 18. And it goes on. In total, it's 1,335,000,000 km3 worth of sea. Now, one cubic kilometer equates to 264 billion gallons worth of water. Applying the circular principle of the water cycle, and you get a lot of rainfall. So it begs the question, with so much water becoming so much rain, why is there a lack of drinking water and such a demand for it in places across the world? Let's hit some facts. Over 80% of the Earth receives enough rain per year to have a sufficient water supply. One millimeter of rainfall collected over a meter squared is one liter of water. Now, if one person were to drink the recommended eight glasses a day, that'd be 730 liters in an entire year. So if one person had a tank a meter squared by at least 73 centimeters high, they could be completely self-sufficient with their drinking water. Applying this for a family would just be the case of expanding the size according to the amount of people. Granted, this doesn't account for the baths, showers, and cleaning, but it's a start. A reason to have no excuse to not have fresh drinking water in every household. What the basic point is here is to center down on one thing, water. Water has no reason being in a bottle. If the right infrastructure and the right support was supplied to every home in every city around the world, water tanks placed left, right, and center instead of expensive desalination plants could transform continents. No longer would there be a 100% reliance on a singular water company supplying clean water to an entire city. Now taking that 730 litres times by the amount of people we currently have on Earth, and you get just over 5.2 billion litres of water drunk per year. And when you're talking about the water cycle, the amount of seawater becoming fresh drinking water, that's not even close to one cubic kilometre used. To put that in perspective, it would take us 66 trillion years to consume all of Earth's water. However, the cycle keeps us going, so it's quite honestly an impossibility to run out of fresh drinking water. What we are running out of is the brains to keep up with the amount of people who need it, finding ways to get water to people who cannot seem to get it themselves. That requires infrastructure, thinking and brains, innovative ways to supply a nation clean water that doesn't require desalination plants or a water corporation. 